Hey everyone and welcome back to Playfusion. I'm Anish and again right I have come back with a job notification update right. So ISRO Indian Space Research Organization has come up with a job notification right for the Ahmedabad location of Space Applications Center right. So like this note down the important dates that like it has started from 26th of uh, December 2023 and pre and to 15th of January 2024 right so like uh, this date has really come closer right so you should apply now okay who are eligible for this post basically what post are they talking about here they are talking about scientist engineer SC post right the level 10 of pay matrix post that they are talking about here right so uh, whoever like want to apply in scientist engineer agriculture they can apply but what are the essential qualification you need to have right essential qualification you need to have is MSc in Agriculture, Physics or Agriculture, Metrology or any of this, right? And what are the prerequisites? So prerequisites is, is BSc in Agriculture with an aggregate minimum of 60% marks. Okay. So these are the prerequisites basically. Okay. And like here, right? Again, if you want to apply for different posts, this is for the Scientist, Engineer, Atmospheric Sciences and Oceanography, right? So here, again, this is the uh, essential. You need to have this and this is the prerequisite. Before, like, obviously you need to have this, but if you even have this, this also is required, right? Okay. And this is the most, like, uh, for which, like, most you, all of you will be interested, right? This is for the Scientist, Engineer, Computer Science Engineer, right? Uh, so, yeah. Whoever has done their MEM Tech in Computer Science Engineering, right? They are eligible. Okay. Or in each of these domains and they need to have done their BE, BTEC in computer science engineering with minimum of 65% marks, right? Or IT also, IT is also eligible, right? So yeah, they can apply here, right? And uh, uh, like these are the post codes, right? This is the post code three. Okay, I will mainly talk about the post code three, right? So for post code three, this is the age limit, right? Uh, as on 15th January of 2024, your age should be between 18 to 30 years, okay? It should not be less than this and it should not be more than 30. Okay, so for post code uh, 3, right, they have told you the job requirements. What does the job require? So basically develop uh, development of artificial intelligence, deep learning, machine learning, all these things you need to do, right? So for computer science is basically uh, shifting towards that. So yeah, you need to know all this, right? So there are two level of recruitment process, right? Two level of recruitment process. First is the written test and then there is personal interview. So you have to clear both of this. And then there are weightage for each of this, right? So the written test, I will mainly talk about written test also. There are two parts and I will mainly talk about the postcode three because that is for the engineering part, right? So for postcode three, uh, you will get 75 minutes of duration time to fill up the, uh, to complete the paper for the part A, right? A, right? And <coughs> there will be 60 marks. Like for each correct answer you will give, you will gain one marks. And if you give the, if you give wrong answer, right, you will you uh, you will get deducted by one by three marks, basically 0.33, right? And what are the pattern? Pattern is basically MCQ. Sixty question of MCQ will come up, right? And uh, like, what is the duration for the part B? Part B is basically the aptitude part, and part A is basically the technical or the area of discipline uh, discipline part, right? Okay. So basically, uh, if you are applying for computer science, obviously uh, questions will come from computer science engineering, right? That sub different subjects which computer science engineering contains. Okay. So yeah, this is for that one. Now, like for part B. Is 30 minutes, you like uh, 20 marks will be there, right? Over 20 marks will be there, and uh, same pattern like there is neg no negative marking, okay? No negative marking. So, what I will suggest is you attempt all, all of the all of the questions, right? Attempt all, all of the questions, okay? Again, this is MCQ, very easy, right? And there will be maximum of 15 questions, okay? So, each question may uh, contain like some question may contain two marks also, okay? So, yeah, like this is the pattern basically. You can see the pattern, okay? From here, they may ask, okay? So, again, there is part c also sorry i forgot this part c also this is the part a part b part c is the descriptive question so like for post uh, I, uh, like i was talking about post one and code one and two post one and code uh, two it is not applicable but for for uh, post uh, three right it is applicable right so again right you will get 30 minutes of time 20 marks uh, is overall uh, weightage it contains and mainly right there will be technical questions right technical questions uh, to the or like uh, what whatever domain you are preparing for if you're preparing for computer science then your technical questions will come from here right so yeah this is about the isro uh, like this exam and they have talked about the qualifying criteria so you have to like uh, for post code 3 right you have to have each 50% each in part a part b and part c so minimum 50% you need to gain right and like an interview also like there will be interview after this like the selection procedure of interview they have told right how many people they will select in what ratio will they select they have given here right so uh like interview qualifying marks is also 50 out of 100 okay so aggregate overall qualifying is also there it is 60 so there are a lot of criteria here but yeah like the pay matrix is also good so yeah now 
weightage in panel generation so uh, 50% weightage will be given to written test marks and 50% will be to the interview marks okay so yeah these are the few important information you can uh, read from here right i will i won't go too much into this like uh, i will give you just the this contact details you take it right and these are the important dates so yeah that's it for the isro recruitment and i will see you in the next video